everyone welcome to my channel my name is Kimberly and I create art inspired by nature all right so here's what my setup looks like this is kind of just in the middle of the process so here's my watercolor palette with some paints in it and a space for mixing I've got my watercolor paint cup and brush here we have a paper towel for drying off brushes that are too wet, and then I also like to have this extra paper to test out colors on. Here's our watercolor paper. It is 140 pound cold press, and then there's our reference image that I'm using for this painting. So here is a sketch of the um, reference image in pencil. And then I trace that pencil onto my nice watercolor paper. I do this so that I don't, you know, mess up and have to erase on my nice paper. Here I'm already starting with the ink for the final piece. So this is a mixture of ink and watercolor as you'll see as we get into the painting. So I just kind of trace along the pencil that I've already laid out as a template, uh, if you will. And um, as I'm mixing these colors, I just want to tell you a little bit about the um, subject matter for this piece. So this is uh, the Ledges Trail in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, which is near where I live here in Ohio. So I like to go hiking there a lot and I love to paint from nature so I'll go out take pictures, take that back to my studio and um, just paint, you know, artwork. <laughs> Sorry guys, I am new to YouTube videos so if, the, if I seem to struggle a little bit, just bear with me. So um, I'm getting up my paints all mixed here and um, I will tell you that I'll list the paints colors that I used in the description below. All right, so I'm just laying out my first layers of color here now and that is what watercolor is all about, layering. You want to start super light, sometimes you may even just want to start with straight up water painted onto your piece and then add color into that so that it bleeds and get the, gets those nice um, washes that, that watercolor, you know, has that character. So I'm starting very light, getting those warm tones of the rock in. Um, I'm sorry you don't can't see my full reference image. Um, maybe if I get better at editing videos I will figure out how to do that in the future. I know that I, I can put that up in the corner there and I will try to figure that out for the next video guys. Um, so I'm adding different colors into this light wash so that the base is not going to be just one color. There's some blues in there. It is mostly, you know, these warm light browns and ochres, but there's also some blue mixed in to give it a little bit of more of a neutral uh, base color. So the top of the rock is a lot cooler in color so I'm adding a lot more blue here. Doing a little bit of um, line work with the watercolor. I'm not necessarily painting all of the paper in. I am leaving some spaces white because I would like to see some white spaces in the end. I don't want it to be completely filled in. Now you can see that I'm mixing in some, I'm mixing the browns into the blues and vice versa, um, getting some neutrals that way. I'm really not using any gray. Though this is a rock, I'm using a lot of blues and browns and greens um, even though you know if you just think of a rock you might think of it as gray but there are so many colors in this rock and it's really awesome I had a ton of fun painting this it's a little bit not quite abstract but it's not photorealistic that's not really my style um, I like to have fun with lines and colors 
Um, I like to be kind of bold with black ink on watercolor. So in the end, I will add a little bit more ink besides just those thin lines. And I do change the uh, speed of this whole thing throughout, you know, going from slow to fast, you can kind of see some details, but I mean, this took me a long time to paint, so obviously I can't, I can't do it um, full, the full thing in real time. Um, most of this is 30 times speed of what I was actually painting. So this took me several hours over several days, so you'll notice the lighting may change at some points. So that's because I did not paint this all in one sitting. I'm not, honestly, I'm not quite sure exactly how long it took, but it was several hours. <laughs> so I'm just continuing to layer, layer, layer. This rock is all about just adding in, it's basically a whole bunch of lines and um, shapes pulled together. Um, so this is a fun part. I like to add these little patterns. The rock had these patterns in it, these little um, pockets that look like they were formed from water dripping along the rock. Um, this is a really cool area, the ledges, um, if you've ever been. Or if you haven't been, you should go. It's the Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga Valley National Park here in Ohio. We have some really cool trails in there. And the ledges is where there are all these cool rock formations. There's also a really pretty overlook there that we hike to that's really close to where this spot actually was. And you see that I, I painted in that little pocket area with kind of a brownish tone and then I added in some bluish grays, some darker um, along the edges and it kind of bled in there. So I'm starting to be a little bit more bold with my colors, being a little bit, a little bit darker, doing um, some more bold colors and darker lines on the rock. Now here I am mixing my greens and yellows for the background of bright trees. This photo was taken at the beginning of fall and um, in the morning, so the lighting was really pretty and the trees were just kind of starting to turn yellow. Now we're back to the rock, adding some little patterns of crevices into that rock. Now this is, I'll be honest with you guys, this is my first like real YouTube video. I've done some in the past, but I didn't really create them for YouTube. I created them for Instagram and kind of edited them a little bit more so for YouTube. So I would love to hear feedback from you. If you have any tips for me, if you're a YouTuber and you do these um, paintings or um, videos like this, I would love some tips um, and tricks just how to make these better editing. Or if you guys want to see different shots, like different angles, would you like to see some real time stuff as well? I would love to hear you from you guys in the comments. So we're getting real close here. I always have a hard time near the end trying to figure out when is the right place to stop. When do you stop? You know, like I've had problems in the past where I overwork things, I paint too much, and everything just gets kind of muddy. So I hope that I didn't go too far with this one, but I feel a little bit, I felt like I was a little bit close to that overworked stage in the end but I think it all came together nicely. This is kind of practice for me. I haven't painted a lot of rocks. That's just not a scenery subject that I do a lot of, but I really want to teach myself to do that. So I am putting in the work to get better at it.
And that's what I encourage everyone else to do. Like, I am no expert, but people ask me, you know, how do you get really good at watercolor? And I'm just like, practice, 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 and watch other people paint also. That has really helped me to become a better painter. But practice is so huge. Just work really, really hard and keep painting, keep painting, keep painting. Like, I cannot, you know, emphasize that enough. So I'm just finishing up the trees here, adding a little bit more darker colors, more bold colors to give a little bit of depth. Now we're continuing on with that. And it's nearly done here. I did a little bit of um, details post videoing, after, after videoing, I mean. So I didn't include all of that, but here's a process picture and then here we have the final image. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm new at this. Please give me any advice or just let me know what you liked so I can continue doing that in the future. You can follow me on Instagram at Everhard Designs. Um, you can go to the link below in the description to see more about um, I have my website on there, I have um, links to um, materials that I use, so yeah. Thank you so much for listening to this video and bearing with me as I do this new thing.